Hey everyone, Brent here. Um, just wanted to make a video to show you exactly what these paintings look like um, live rather than on a picture because I think they do better when you see them in a video. Um, I also have a bigger room where I can show with more light. I couldn't really show you a lot of these. Oh, there goes my phone. A lot of these when we were um, in the apartment because it just wasn't very good lighting. But I'm in the kitchen and I got this one. This one that hangs in my kitchen right now. And I'm just going to come up to it. I want to show you exactly what I'm doing. As you can see, there's a reflection on the painting because I do lacquer them. Um, they've been lacquered over several times, about uh, four or five times, just to uh, keep the blades on and the leaves on. That's why I lacquer them. Because if you don't, they will fall off. Uh, I'm just going to come up really close to it here to kind of show you a better uh, close-up shot. If I focus in onto the tree trunk, you can see how the blades in there are very intricately, intricately laid. But what I like about it is when you turn with this painting, you can see the, leaf, the, the tree will actually shimmer with you as you walk around. I think that's really, really awesome. Um, come back a little farther. This piece is actually four feet by four feet, so it's a large, a large piece that sits on this uh, piece of wall perfectly. I'm going to come over here and show you uh, the smaller ones and give you a little bit more idea of what they are like. Um, there's two of them here. Uh, sorry for all the shakiness. I got a bad foot so I'm kind of hobbling along. Uh, one is lacquered, one isn't. The white one is not. The other one is part of my, is one of the last pictures of my Heart of the Woman series. And they're lacquered so that the blades again don't fall off. So you can see that they have a shine to them. And you can see the very intricate work of the blades inside that tree trunk. And again, the blades are made out of um, pop cans. Oops, sorry. And so they do look a lot different than, than when you're um, than when you see them in a picture. I mean, a picture doesn't do justice to them really at all, I don't think. Uh, you can see the shine, the beautiful, beautiful shine that the tree trunk gives by the light reflection. If I come over here, you can see how that white one is really, really shining beautifully. And if I just walk over here, it changes again, and it changes again, and it changes again. It just keeps, and I love that. That's, that's the beauty of these paintings, or these art pieces more than paintings. Um, that I have here. Let me just kind of focus in a little bit more on the white one. Again, those are all just pop cans, uh, those leaves that I made there. But you can also see how beautiful the tree trunk looks. All made out of saw blades. This particular uh, art piece here took me a long time to do. It was one of the longest ones I've done because all those leaves on there had to be uh, meticulously put in there so that they looked natural. If I would have just stuck them on there, stuck them on there, stuck them on there, I would have had blotches and I tried it and it didn't work very good. <laughs> so I actually took them all apart and redid them so that they looked more natural. And I'm going to show you on this painting another thing. Uh, the reason why I do lacquer them. If you look right there, if I can focus in on there, there's some leaves that had fallen out that need to be replaced. And so that's the reason why I lacquer them is because they do fall off if you don't, if you handle them too much. So <clears throat> if I come over to this one that's already been lacquered, I can touch it. I mean, I can do anything to this painting. I mean, I can wash it off with a cloth. I can do anything and nothing's gonna fall off that piece of art. So I hope this is going to give you a better idea of exactly what I'm doing and to see uh, them more in a live video than on picture. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. See you later. Oops, got to stop it.